Time now for your forewarn weather with Thomas Keyboy. Good morning, Utah, and happy Friday. We've made it to the end of the work week. The time is currently 612, and we'll take a live look outside. Redcliffe's Lodge in Moab. Absolutely stunning this morning. You have the twinkling stars above, calm conditions down below, and we're still roughly an hour, hour and a half away before we get to sunrise. So pretty dark out there still. That's a beautiful view, but you want to talk about some beautiful views? We saw those yesterday at Sundance, looking towards Timpanogos. And we also got to the Bear Claw Summit, got to look down towards Deer Creek. I went up there with photographer Ed Willits, and these are just some of the views that we saw yesterday. You still have winter basically at the very top of the mountains in the Wasatch, while you still have plenty of fall colors to see. So if you still haven't made that drive through the canyons or through the mountains, there's still plenty of fall color to see. I'm going to encourage you to do it over the next few days, because as we make our way into the middle of next week, we're actually going to be moving past the peak fall colors for a lot of spots in our northern Utah mountains. And you'll actually be able to see that here on the fall foliage. We're in the highest peaks right now. We are past that peak color, but we're at the peak more or less for mid-mountain and areas down on the mountain. We're starting to see the fall colors begin to pop up in our valleys. But also, if you're down in our southern Utah mountains, we're basically at peak color now. And that's why with some gorgeous weather over the weekend, you probably want to do that fall drive, that scenic drive potentially getting into this weekend. Here's the current view right now from Snow Basin. Mount Ogden looking lovely. Again, you got twinkling stars above, calm conditions down below, some of these so showing some of that residual snow from earlier this week. Temperature-wise, most of us are in the 40s and 50s. Sweater weather as you head out the door, 49 in Salt Lake, while St. George is now currently sitting at 59. Your dog walking forecast in Salt Lake will be another great day to take your dog for a walk, but maybe Charlie right here doesn't want to go for that walk, wants to roll around in the grass, and you know what? That's going to be okay today as well. Temperatures will climb to the low 70s by early this afternoon, and then heading into this evening, temperatures will fall from the 60s back into the 50s. And I think along the Wasatch Front, we might only bottom out around 50 degrees, so just a fraction warmer tonight compared to what we're seeing out there very early this morning. As for our daytime highs, mostly with mostly sunny skies, should be beautiful. 60s and 70s up north, 70s and 80s down south, and we'll go ahead and zoom things in here for a better perspective. Along the Wasatch Front, I think most spots get into the low 70s as both Ogden and Salt Lake get to 72, while Park City today will be in the middle 60s. In central Utah, we'll top out at 78 in Castledale, 79 in Green River, and 72 in Gunnison. Then down in southern Utah today, we'll top out at 72 in Escalante, 74 in Blanding, 77 in Kanab and St. George. A little bit warm today, but not too bad, sitting at 87. Tomorrow's weather in St. George will be very similar so it will be a little bit warm during the afternoon, but with the marathon going on in the morning, I don't think that you can argue with the weather that we'll have as we'll likely start things off in the upper 50s and by 11 o'clock in the morning, temperatures will likely be in the upper 60s. Sounds pretty good for some running weather for sure. Now let's go ahead and begin the long range future cast and take you through the next several days. High pressure keeping our weather nice and calm today through this weekend. As our daytime highs continue to gradually warm, I think by Sunday into Monday, we actually could be talking about daytime highs roughly five to 10 degrees above where they should be for this time of year. By the early half of next week though, into the middle of next week, that high pressure starts to move down to the south, opens up the door to a system coming in from the Pacific Northwest, and it looks like this will arrive by Wednesday, bringing us a chance of seeing wet weather in Northern Utah, and we'll also see daytime highs likely drop below our seasonal averages by the second half of next week. Here's how it all looks on the seven day forecast. We're in St. George will be in the mid to upper 80s over the next several days. Overnight lows continue mainly in the mid to upper 50s. Then by the middle of next week, while at this point it looks unlikely we'll see wet weather down in St. George, we should get at least some cooler temperatures with us dropping back into the 70s by Wednesday and Thursday. Then along the Wasatch Front, low 70s for today, then daytime highs mid to upper 70s, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And then as that system works its way in, we'll introduce a slight chance with low 70s on Tuesday. Then we'll bring in the chance for scattered showers on Wednesday with a daytime high likely dropping into the low 60s.